Hello everybody, hello Vivi, and welcome to this video in which I'm going to be teaching you how to use foundation. I'm not going to be marketing foundation. This one is a quick installation tutorial. Basically foundation is a library that we use to code all of our premium plugins with. It, it is intended to help beginner, intermediate and advanced plugin developers to make plugins faster so that instead of you spending four or five weeks making a mini game, you only need 10 days or even uh, one week. Now, as I mentioned, I'll be very quick in this video. So all you need is to import foundation as a dependency. Then we need to um, change something in the Maven shade plugin. And then we just need to change the uh, directive extends Java plugin to extends symbol plugin. I'm going to be showing you everything on the screen. And for that, I'm going to be using my favorite tool, as you guessed it, IntelliJ. And uh, this is using the cow canoon that we're developing across the entire micro plugin development series. If you've never made a micro plugin before, I don't know what you're doing watching my video. But anyways, let's just assume that you've did it, that you've done it. First things first, I want you to go to github.com slash kankerco slash foundation. And then let's just scroll down to quick start and let's do all the steps together, shall we? First things first, import foundation using Maven or Gradle. I'll see the importing section. So I'm not I'm not gonna be covering Gradle because People using Gradle can just change uh, whatever they see on the screen to Gradle. But for Maven, method one is recommended. Download it um, using Jitpack remote repository. So we just need to get the repository by copying this one. And then I can go to cocanoon that um, cocanoon's POM. And then inside repositories, I already see that I already have that. So I can just skip the step. Step two is I need to get the dependency just like that. And then actually I can paste it, I can actually paste it below paper. Reason being foundation already comes with paper, already comes with a version of paper or spigot. So if you need to code for a different version than the latest one, make sure you have paper API above foundation, such as we have some people still using 1.8.8. In that case, you definitely need to put it above foundation because IntelliJ or Eclipse is going to pr prioritize the imports, the libraries that are on the top. Now. When you do that, make sure to replace the version with the latest version, which is at the time of this video, 6, 7, 14, just like that. There we go, save it. Now, if you happen to use IntelliJ, make sure to right click the plugin, go to Maven and hit reload project somewhere here. In Eclipse, I can just type, I can just click update Maven project, hit okay, I'll be good to go. Now, we need to open up the mains plugin class, main plugin class, and change extends Java plugin to extend simple plugin. And if you've done everything correctly, you should you should now be able to import this class from my Academy FO that plugin simple plugin package. All right, that's pretty much it. Reason being, we already do some stuff as a middleman. Foundation is not just a library; it's an entire build system. We do a lot of cross-server compatibility stuff. So we actually developed a custom plugin class that extends Java plugins, so that all of your methods and fields you'll be able to access uh, from simple plugin as well. Now. The only thing that's different is the on enable is actually called on plugin start and the on disable is called on plugin stop. All right. And there is another one. It's called on plugin load. And we also got a bunch for on plugin uh, reload and pre reload, which I'm not going to cover in this video. Let's just have a look at if I'm doing everything properly. Yep. Yeah, so we've done this step. We've done step number four and then step number five. I'm going to show you and then I'm, I'll go back and I'll circle back to step number two because that's very important. So those of you guys that have a static instance, a private or even worse, a public static, let's just say that you're one of these people that do something like this. OK, well, foundation already does uh, the instance saving for you. You can either call simple plugin get instance and you can then cast it into Cocanoon. Or if you're tired of always doing that, what you can do, you can just implement a get instance method like this one that instead of getting the plugin, I'll simply do that. Okay, return simple plugin get instance and then cast it to a cow cannon. Now, if you just happen to do this, let me see, let me show you what is going to happen. Let me actually do a little printout with foundation. There we go. I know haters are going to kill me for using system that out, but print line, but who cares? Also, you'll notice that the get command is depreciated. It is going to work. 
Okay, it is going to work, but we do have a better way of registering commands, which actually does not require you to register a command. I may cover this in a, one of our future videos if you guys desire, but it will. It still is going to work. Just note that it's depreciated. You can ignore that. Anyways, what happens if we just compile this? You are going to end up with a beautiful 115 megabytes file. What in the world? Now, the problem here is that all of our libraries from foundation are being shipped okay it's pretty insane this is everything that is inside your file your plugin which doesn't it's not obviously supposed to have that so that's why it's very important to complete step number two configure shading to only include foundation and the libraries you actually need otherwise all of our dependencies will be shaded to your jar now here's a link to a plugin template which is a sort of a, a, an empty plugin using foundation if you are new and you just want to start with foundation you can just download plugin template and change the pom however if you want to migrate to foundation uh, what you need to do you need to open up the pom so follow that link and then copy the entire plugin maven shade plugin copy this thing copy this big boy right here that's right and then open up the your current pom find where you have the shade plugin there we go and then just replace it i already see that i have some stuff here so I can paste it below and then I can just copy the relocation below if you need to. Okay, you can just copy. Uh, it is fully compatible. So you can keep your stuff there if you so desire. Now, first thing you need to change is the foundation path. I assume you don't, you don't have that variable configured. So you can just manually type in the same path uh, that you had when you were importing foundation. So that is actually not com kangarco. It's com dot github dot kangarco. That's right. So we can just copy it right here and foundation you can just keep this is basically what you want to include if you have more libraries uh, you can just include them using the same structure and then basically what do you want to relocate you want to move foundation into your core uh, package name so for me it's org mine academy co -canoon. again i can delete everything and then org mine academy co -canoon dot lib. now let's compile again and now we can see the foundation is properly uh, properly build within your jar. All right, let me go. Let me do a quick test. And now it says Kokanoon has been enabled with foundation. All right, guys, as always, take care. Check out our courses. If you want to learn more, check out the link in the description of this video. And I can't wait to see you in the next one because the next video is going to be using foundation to create animated buttons and animated menu. I know I already have a GUI video here, but we've done a lot of work there. Foundation actually removes all of that work and I'm going to be showing you how to achieve even more complicated, more sophisticated menus using a fraction of your code. See you there.